Hi guys, Natalie Jill. Today I wanna to talk about a serious topic. It's a question I get so many times and I wanted to address it. And it's how do I get and stay motivated when I feel like I'm just at rock bottom? Like I have no, I'm at my worst. I'm at a place where I don't have the energy to work out and I feel like it is just gonna be a lot of work or I might feel embarrassed getting into the gym or I just don't know where to start. How do I find that motivation? I get that question a lot. And I wanna share some things that have worked for me in the past and that have worked for many of my clients and people I've worked with. And I think that they can help you too. So I want you to listen, take out a piece of paper and a pencil so you can write these down because these are not hard. They're things that just by implementing them into your life, you'll see a whole change on your motivation level and how you want to go about changing your life for the better. So the first tip I wanna share is you have to decide. And I love the word decide because if you talk to anybody that's had a great transformation, a lasting transformation, the number one thing they did first was they decided. And that sounds so simple and it might sound hokey, but just making that decision that you're ready to make the change, that you're ready to commit and do this, takes away so many of the doubts. Just decide, say, I'm gonna do this, it's time, I'm deciding. Anyone that's had a transformation, they started with deciding. The second thing I wanna share is you don't have to think about what you have to take away. Instead, I want you to think about what can you add to your life? What can you add every day, every week that's gonna help you get healthier and fit? So think, what can I add? So what I mean by that is can you move more throughout the day? Can you add more water? Can you add more real, natural, unprocessed foods, more vegetables, more fruits, more healthy proteins, more healthy fats? Can you add things? If you start adding more things to your life, more of the good things, more activity, more movement, the bad things get lesser and lesser because there's no room for that. So if you can add more of the good stuff, it's so much easier to think of what I can add and how much can I add and making it a challenge every day versus what do I need to take out and eliminate? Because as soon as you start taking things away, that's deprivation and that ends up being an issue. The next thing I wanna share, and this might sound really hokey, but I swear this one works and you've got to do it, especially if you're in a rock bottom place. This is where I started when I was in my rock bottom place, is if you have nothing positive to think about, if you can't remember a time you felt healthy and fit and great, or you're just having a really hard time envisioning it, then I would highly recommend that you make a vision board. Vision boards are fun to do, and they will give you so much clarity. And all you do to do this is you wanna just get a bunch of magazines and tear out pictures that are interesting to you of things that you wanna move your life towards. So whether that's being a fitter you, having more money, having being happier, living in a certain place, but putting those visions on a board where you're gonna see those daily will help keep you in that right mindset of what you're moving towards. So the vision board can really help give you that strength and that vision that you need, especially if you can't remember a time where you felt that way. The next thing I'm gonna advise is work with things that you like and the time you have versus saying, I have to do this really complicated way of doing it or I have to work out an hour and I just don't have an hour and I can't do an hour. Do what you like with the time you have. If you have 10 minutes a day and that's all you've got extra to spare right now, then do movement and workouts within those 10 minutes. You don't have to fight against what you've already have. If you only have certain times you can eat through the day, work with what your schedule allows because the more you allow your own schedule and your own likes to dictate what you're doing, the more likely you are to stick with things. So if you don't have a big long hour to do crazy workouts, don't try to force that into your schedule. Instead think, what time do I have? And then look for options you can do within that time and pick activities you like and build on there. If you love to walk, if that's something you love doing, for example, and you hate the idea of a gym, think about what can I add to my walks? Can I walk more? Can I walk longer? Can I walk further? Can I walk uphill? You get the drift. Pick things that you already like and add to that. The next thing and the final tip I'm gonna give you is just start. I know that sounds really easy to some and you think, well, that's just too easy, but just start, just starting. But thinking about everything you need to do is not the same as starting. If you just start and start moving in that right direction, one step in front of the other, every single step counts. Just start, start moving in that right direction and you'll be amazed that over time, everything starts to change. So just think, what can I add? What can I start? and just do it. Now, if you do need specific plan to follow and direction and you wanna follow a formula, of course, I advise you can absolutely do that. In fact, I've got many programs I recommend myself 
that I have that would help you with that. But you've got to pick something that fits in your own life and you have to do those steps first. So you've got to decide. You've got to decide you're going to add things. You've got to create that vision board and know where you're headed. And you have to just start and work with what you like. You guys got this. Now if you want that extra help, I highly recommend become part of my 7 day jumpstart because it'll give you all the tools to help elaborate on what we just went through but it'll give you that foundation for nutrition and creating that healthy lifestyle. I know you can do this, I know you can do this, trust me. There are so many people that think they can't and I've shown them that they can. You just gotta implement these steps and you can do it. Bye.